to our daily word this morning it is friday it's a beautiful sunny friday morning we've reached the end of another week we've reached the end of may we are moving fast forward into june so as always i'm great if you could join me for our time together as we continue our conversation around scripture and how we use it to live better lives and to live lives with each other and be in community and try to live out God's call on us. So as always, I'm grateful that you would carve out time to be with me and offer greetings um, when you sign in. As always, reminder, join us Sunday morning uh, for worship. We have baptisms, we have communion, we have coffee hour, we have great music playing. So hopefully you'll join us on Sunday morning at 1015. If you can't be there in person, you can always join us here on Facebook Live. And I'm grateful that you could do that. And then just a reminder, um, after next week, we'll be on mission trip. So that week of June 9th, there will not be a daily word every day. But um, I'll remind you of that as we move forward uh, while we are in Tennessee on mission trip. So today is daily word number 919 as we live our lives together. And Carter and Weston are hanging out with me today, so they might come rushing in at any time. It's hard to tell but before we go further of course i want to light my christ candle this reminder of the presence of the holy spirit and the flames that came that day on pentecost sunday and changed everyone's lives so i've chosen for today romans 12 verses 9 through 16 and i've chosen um this from the message version i love how eugene peterson um, takes some of these scriptures and crafts them and molds them and makes them very personal. Um, this is one of my favorite ones that he does. And uh, there are a couple others. I love how he does 1 Corinthians 13. But hear these words. And this is, this is one of these scriptures where you read it. And you don't need to say much, probably. But hear these words. Love from the center of who you are. Don't fake it. Run for dear life from evil. Hold on for dear life to good. Practice playing second fiddle. Don't burn out. Keep yourselves fueled and aflame. Don't quit in hard times. Pray all the harder. Help needy ones. Be inventive in hospitality. Bless your enemies. No cursing under your breath. Laugh with your friends when they're happy. Shed tears when they're down. Get along with each other. Don't be stuck up. Make friends with nobodies. Don't be the great somebody. So I read these words today, and I've read them many times, and they used to be my closing words. When I worked for the conference um, those years, I worked with over half the congregations in the Ohio Conference, well over half. I preached in 200-plus congregations, led weekend workshops for, for almost all the congregations in the Ohio Conference, and I always ended our time together with this scripture as a reminder of what we're called to be about. But you read those words and, and I don't know, it makes me wonder, man, I'm just not a very good Christian. Um, I'm better than it would be if I wasn't a Christian, but oftentimes I'm not a good person. And I say that because, you know, sometimes I know better than I was when I was four, surrounded by a great church when I was growing up and, and living my life with church people, sometimes, you know, I want to do the opposite of what the scripture says. I want to curse instead of bless. Um, sometimes it's easier to be snarky, it seems, or to drift off into the endless sea of, of hatred and anger instead of doing my part to make the world a better place. But all the Christian practices articulated in Romans makes it easier to pull ourselves back, to be um, changed by the consciousness of who God is. We hold each other accountable in the life of the church. We show up in the world. We do good things to make a difference in the world. Hi, boys. We, ch <laughs> we change our lives. But the, but the reward 
for doing no Weston no. no the reward for, for the reward for doing good works is not God's love we already have that it's secured it's what happens when we do the work itself the blessing that arrives not right now as we repeatedly get free ourselves from the snares of the of the things and become and become better people hear what it says don't quit help needy ones bless your enemies laugh with your friends cry when they're down get along with each other make friends with nobodies don't be the great somebody don't let our egos get in the way of all that we do I think this is just an immediate practice for us to live our lives love for the center of who we are run from evil practice playing second fiddle let someone else have the glory keep ourselves fueled in a flame all these are are amazing things and and you know when we're Christian we try to do the right things you know we live in a world where people want to find our hypocrisy you know they want to see oh there's Jim he really is a hypocrite he doesn't live practice what he preaches but we are called in the scripture to live in this kind of way and I'm convinced if we did that you know if we lived in this way the world would be a better place and our neighborhood would be a better place and uh, and our house would be a better place and our church would be a better place so think about these words look it up look it up this message version you can go to biblegateway.com type it in look it up love from the center of who you are and that's what we're called to so that's our word for today hope it's a good word for you sorry for the interruption from the boys um, they have lots of energy today so as always know of god's love that surrounds you know of my love for you have a great weekend we'll see you sunday morning at 10 15 and then back here again at nine o'clock on monday morning have a great day